All right, so for, okay, for this training, we're going to go through Selenium end-to-end -end using page objects. And so we've covered this in almost like two, two or three months now. So it's going to be end-to-end -end from beginning to the end. So, so go, go through with me on this journey. All right, first thing, you want to create a new project five new project and then we want to use maven so you click on next so the group id like i said you want to use gifstreet.com so but we want to use the dev one so that will be So we want to say So, okay, let's just give that as a group ID and our active ID is that one. So from there, you click next and you specify where you want it to be stored. I think I've got training, so finish. So I want it to be open to the new window. All right, so now, like in the first two sessions, we went through uh, how to create everything from uh, how to get our test ng form files and everything. So, but today I'm not going to go through that again. I'm just going to copy and paste from beginning of where we have everything on the website. So, first thing I think you have your. I'll just go through this when you have, you have your. This our training um, project, and you have your SLC and you have your main and your test. So I saw some people have got issues, they put their test pack packages inside main. No, you shouldn't do that. All your tests should go into the test package. So, and we go through from there right now. So the first file I want to mention is your pond for, um, folder, so which is open right now. So in your pond folder, you, which is created for, for Maven. So you have your group ID, which you created before, and that is this. And you have your artifact ID also, which is that one we've created, and the same thing with the version. So this remains the same. So if you don't, if you use a different uh, group ID, different uh, artifact ID and versions, you're going to see this will be different. So bear that in mind this will remain the same as exactly as it is but these ones will be different so the first thing that we want to do update our pawn so if you go to um, blue sky Go to Blue Sky Citadel and I think courses. Go to the blog. You have all the uh, courses that we've, we've done. So I'm looking for where we, so in here you have the pawn 
and you have the runner and you have the test engine. So I'll open the phone sample phone first. So so the sample phone is this one that we've created before. And so I just need the dependencies. I don't need, like I said, this might be different from what I've got. So uh, I need dependencies. So I copy the dependencies up to where the project is. So that is what I want to copy. I leave the project tag. So that's what I want to copy. Then, so I will place what I've copied in here. So that is pasted. Okay, that uh, will be imported. So, as does so. Then also, what that is going through, I said. Also, I mentioned about your Maven projects uh, sections. So you want to have that window open also so that you can claim your moving stop. Yeah, so then sometimes you need to, uh, to import everything. So if you are doing this and you have any red, yeah, so that means you've not imported everything correctly. So I would say you click on import uh, uh, dependencies or you clean, or sometimes if it's not working also, you can do validate also to get everything sorted. Okay, now the next one that we need to do is our test engine. So what you need to do is right click on your project and then new, you want to create new file. So you want to create test ng docs xml. So that one also, it's we need to get that here. Yeah. yeah, which is that one. So this is the file right now that we need to now copy. So I just need to create that, finish creating that. Testng.xml. So which is this one. So the next I need to copy that. Okay, so after this one, the next one is your runner and your, uh, you got a package called runner and you got your class called test runner. So the first thing I create my runner package. So which will be under my test, under my Java. So I create a new package and I call, I call it runner. So just to be sure, I can copy this. So, so I don't make any typo error. New package and I paste that. So that will be my package. So as you can see, that is green now. The next one is for me to create a class called 
test runner. So that should live inside your package called test runners. So new Java class. So if you go to your test ng again, you see everything there. So then your test runner is this one. So the content of test runner also, I think we have a sample on the site. So if you go again to the site, we have sample runner. So I will open that again. So I can copy. Yeah, because my package is the same thing and my class is the same thing. So in essence, I can copy the old uh, code here and paste in my code. But if your package is different and your class that you created is different, then you should update accordingly. For in this one, I'll just copy everything and paste it. Okay, so I'll claim just to be sure and more often and also compile that I don't have any error messages at all. Compile. So then after that, we talk about our feature files that you need to do. Okay, cool. So now we've used our sample test engine, we've used our pawn, and then also we also use our rudder. So I think that is is everything that you need to do in terms of setup. So, so the next one now is your the structure that you need to set up. One, you you will need to set up your feature files. You need to set up your uh, test definition and all the rest like that. So the first thing I want to set up will be my feature files, which I want to put in a resource folder. So at this level, at my test level, I right click that and I can create a new resource directory. I call it resource. Oh. Let us see resources. Okay, and um, to to actually uh, let everything map together, uh, I'll let me. You need to make sure because we got our features here. Yeah? yeah, feature is equal to SRC test resources and features. So that directory has to map with what you have here. So your feature files should be stored in this location. So now I'm creating as I'm creating it from this part. SRC test. The next level is resources, which is what I'm creating right now. So I'll say okay. So I've got that right now. Test and resources. So the next one is my features under resources. But before I do that, I need to make this particular um, directory a resource root. So, so it's now a resources root. So I'll do that. So then after that, I'll create my another um, directory and I'll call that directory features. 
which in lines with what I've got here. And I say, okay. So this is where I'll, I will put my feature files right now, which is the given when then, so in written in Cucumber. So I would click new, file. So let's say I am doing uh, login, login dot feature. Okay, so apparently I think Kikumba is not yet mapped to this at all. So, okay. I cancel that first. Can as well. Okay, so what you need to do, if I remember, is settings. You need to add plugin for Kikumba. So search for cucumber. Then search in repository. So you need to install that. You only need to install this once because this is kind of a new environment that I am using right now for this last session. So. I uh, need to do that. So once you've done that, you only need to do that for your IntelliJ once and that's it. So, okay. Okay. So it's going to ask me to restart IntelliJ, which I should do. So while that is done, so then we can be able to create our feature files as it is. So after that, we need to create other four other files also. So we need to create a folder for our page object. Uh, we've created a folder for our runner, and then we need to create a folder or package rather for the step definitions. So. Okay, I think it's not starting by itself. I think IntelliJ. Okay, so this is not the one that we're using. So I'll close this, I'll open a new one. No, as an open the other one. Fine. Okay, all right. I think this is this is the one that I'm waiting for so I can actually close this one. Okay, so as you can see now, my login files has got that Kikimba logo because Kikimba is now installed. So I can open that. When I open that, as we know, I'm not going to go into what Kikimba is, how does it go, so we've done that before. It's the first thing you want to, the first keyword is features. So you want to have your feature for 
right. No, let's say I think we went to do login to So then after that you can have your description here like say this these two test login page. So then the next one after that is your scenario. So in your scenario, you want to specify the scenario that you want to test, which is let's say valid login. Okay, so here yeah, now I want to the first one I want to say I want to have access to the site first and then after that uh, I want to access the site as a precondition then I want, when I log in that means I enter my username and password then I should be logged in so to do that I can say given I navigate to the site, oh, let's say, or to use the site when I enter, oh, the first thing, click on login link. And I enter username and I enter password and I click like him. Okay, so to go through it manually, this is what we are trying to do. So when you go to this site, and you click on login and you want to enter username that we've done you want to enter this username and you want to enter password also I click on secure signing. So then you should be able to sign in. How do you know you sign in? Issue one, we can verify that this is this logout is displayed or the name is displayed. That those are different ways. And also you can also confirm that you don't you did not actually find any error message at all. So for instance, if I go to login and I put invalid login there and I click on login, you will see the error message be displayed. So you can verify that that error message is not displayed. That's one. Or you also verify that the username is displayed at the top or the login. So I think depending on what you want to do. So, all right, that's what we want to do actually so let's go back so and I click secure sign in button then that's my assertion now I should be logged in so I can as well say then I should not see 
uh, login error message. So maybe that's what I want to do. So, okay, that is that now. I've written my uh, feature steps for valid login. So now I need to write my step definition. So for each of these steps, there will be underlining code to actually specify what this line actually means. As you can see, this is what is uh, is called Gherkin language. It's English, and the computer does not actually understand that. So what you need to do is to now convert that into a language that the computer understands in Java. So each of the steps, you have to write what that means in in Java. So which means that giving a navigate to give read their site, you need to underline it. Uh, Java code that should navigate that particular site. You need to write it. So that is written in your step definition. So for you to create your step definition, let's create a new folder first and so that we can put that in that folder. So as you can see, be careful where you put all these things. My, my feature files, uh, I will be putting them in resources folder under um, features. But when it comes to my step definition, I want to put it under Java because it's going to be a Java code that I have to write. So the same way also this is Java code. So there are going to be different classes. So I now need to create a new um, package. I call it package. Okay, before I do that, I need to, you need to see what's going to happen now because everything should tie it back to your, uh, yeah, to your test runner. Inside my test runner, I said I've got, I've got, uh, we've been able to do this, right? The next is your glue right now that we need to do, which is the one that actually, as the name implies, it glues or it combines or binds your step definition to your feature files. So which means that uh, this is where I have got my feature files and then look into this step, uh, this path, you will see my step definition. Inside this package, you see my step definition. So when I'm going to be creating my uh, package for my step definition, it should be this name. So which means that if you change that name and you don't actually put this name, you need to make sure you come here and change the name you call your package for your step def definition. To make it easy, I'll use this name for my step definition. So I'll go into my Java, right click, create new. I want to create a new package and I want to call it as it is in my glue. And that is that. So that is that created. So now I've got a package or so to say before that, but it's actually a package. So it's called step devs. So the next one now, I need to now go to my feature file. So I want to create a step definition for each of this line. So if you be a bit quiet uh, or patient rather, and you put your mouse on this line and wait for a few seconds, you will see kind of a bulb that is displayed here. So you click on that and you have two options. One option is to create step definition and the other is to create all step definition. First thing I would advise people to first create the first one first. Let's see how it's going to be like. So you create your first definition first. Create step definition. The difference between these two, I will point, it, point them out right now. This will only create one step definition, one step definition for you. But this will want to create everything. But on the first instance, I would advise you just create first one first. Then in the next one, you can create all the steps as you go. So let's create the first one. You click on that. So it now asks you the name of your step definition. So I can call my step definition, I can call it, let's say, login steps.
so I can call it login steps. So I want it to be Java, I think, yeah. No, Java 8. I want it to be Java. So then also the location, I want to store it in my step desk location. location. So I can click on these three dots. So then go here. And now this is where I want it to be stored. So which is fine for me. Then I can click OK. All right, sometimes this happens, right? So even though I selected the right one, it doesn't actually store that inside my step definition, it stored it outside. So, um, but I actually wanted it to be stored inside my package step devs. So what I can do, I can drag it into that. So, and then it's going to say, do I want to move it into that step dev? Yeah, I can say, yes, please move it. So you can see now it's now moved into that. And you can see the package is at the top. So I've got the package as uh, step devs and my login step is in that. So because if that is not the case, uh, my test runner will have issues because my glue says my step definitions are stored in step devs and in the last point there's no package at all that was created for that login step so now we go our first uh, login our first uh, step definition so which is the given given i navigate to